What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers. Welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Santa Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspect to your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Moon, Haven, or your chart. Step to the the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Um, this is for side of Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs for additional message or messages. Um, love you guys. Okay, so I received one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy, Leo. And I heard a Leo is in secret watching a tarot reader but and they're they're getting inspiration um from this reader um out for in their community and world um but they don't want their community and world to know they're watching this tarot reader but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way so whoever you are um leo um that's secretly watching a tarot reader to get inspiration and um etc 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 from this reader um you're watching this reader in secret very much secret leo uh, and god forbid anybody knows that you watch this reader but i heard it's about to backfire it's about to backfire in a huge way a huge way okay it's not about to backfire in a baby way it's about to backfire in a huge way so whoever that's for and how that resonates for that leo okay there's a reason you're trying to hide the fact you're, you're watching this tarot reader. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's about to backfire on you. About to get caught. And by someone you would have never expected. About to get caught by someone you would have never expected is what I heard. So whoever you are, Leo, Mask or Femme Leo, you're about to get caught by someone you would have ne never expected. And it's about to make you do something you would have never thought you were going to do. And it's about to make you do something you never thought you were going to do. So you're about to get caught in a huge way by someone you would have never expected. And once you get caught, Leo, watching this tarot reader that you want nobody to know you watch, apparently, um, it's going to make you do something you never thought you would do. So how that resonates and applies, Leo? Uh, what's done in the dark always comes to the light, Leo. So just saying, just saying. You can be a masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. We have success. For some of you, you're dealing with an Aquarius, possibly. If you are, they can have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in heaven or Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it resonates. And um, you've got double fire sign energy. No, I'm sorry. You've got earth sign and fire sign energy. For some, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a um, Aries, Leo, Sag. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. And by the way, you guys, I'm open for personal readings if you're interested. Um, information is in this uh, description box below if you're interested. Most of my slots are filled up, but if you're interested, you have to text me to book um, just to let you know, okay? Spirit message issue, I'm signed, Leo. Healing. Number four could be a very significant number in one's life. Number four could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number four. Wolf. A predator. It's about to try to play the victim. It's about to piss you off in a huge way. And you're about to turn it around on this person in a huge way. You know they are a predator. Oh my God. Whoa. A predator is about to try to play the victim, I heard. So a predator. So it's a predatory person. Somebody like an opportunistic person, except they prey on people. They're very predatory. I uh, wonder if it's a pedophile. I didn't hear if it was a pedophile. I don't know. Oh, you know who this predatory person is to you that's about to try to play victim. And it sounds like to you, Leo. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. But um, I heard you know they're not the victim. 
and you're basically about to turn it around on them in a huge way. I wonder, for some of you guys, I wonder if it's a pedophile, and I'm just being for real. Um, if it's not a pedophile, they are predatory in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's a financial abuser, a mental health abuser, a, 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 a domestic violence abuser, or a pedophile, or something like that, okay? But some kind of predatory energy. Um, you know, you can still time, money, and energy. So, um, however, they're predatory. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but they're about to try to play victim to you. Now, whoever you are, Leo, uh, I heard you're going to turn it around on them in a huge way because you know they're not a victim. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. That could be the healing too. Mentally healing from their manipulative ass behavior, possibly. And maybe you're going to part the ways with them, possibly. And you're going to have success in this. You plug it in, how it resonates. Y'all, man. Wolf. A Taurus wants to apologize to you, but you're not going to accept it. You want action. Oh, God. Heavy Taurus energy. You plug in how it resonates. I heard a Taurus wants to apologize to you, but you're not going to accept it. You want action. Um, I'm loving this energy, Leo. Get her done energy. I love it. I mean, this is beautiful. So a Taurus wants to apologize to you, whoever this Taurus is, Mass Scorpion Taurus. Um, I heard you're not going to accept it. You want action. So whoever you are, Leo, I don't think they've come to try to apologize to you yet. Um, but I think it's upcoming. And um, I heard you're not going to accept it. You want action. So I don't blame you. Uh, apology means nothing. An apology means nothing unless you try to fix it. And that's just the truth. Actions mean louder than words. So I don't blame you. That's it. I mean, whoever this Taurus is to you, I didn't hear specifically who this person is. Only you're going to know who this Taurus is, but I don't blame you. That's what I would do. Wolf. And this could be your Taurus energy coming in as a wolf energy with lots of desire, drive, and motivation. Want to apologize to you. Uh, but I heard you're not going to accept it. You're going to want action. I don't blame you. Because things don't get better in life, period, point blank, if you don't take action to make them better. And that's any aspect of life. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Wolf. A Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge is about to be exposed for heavy prostitution. Heavy prostitution. There's a huge investigation about to be performed on this judge. And it's about to be performed on something else. But they're about to find heavy evidence of prostitutes. Years of prostitution. Utilizing prostitute services. For one, you're about to be shocked. For one, you intuitively knew this was happening. Oh my God. And it's going to go pu so public. So public. Oh my God Almighty. Whoa, what is going on in here? We've got a Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge that has a very heavy history of prostitution, utilizing prostitute services. Now, I don't feel he lives in the Bunny Ranch area. I feel wherever he lives, it's illegal. Very illegal. Very illegal. Yeah. He doesn't live in the Bunny Ranch area. Where, you know, Bunny Ranch area, like Nevada, wherever the Bunny Ranch is in Nevada, that's, it's legal. But wherever he lives, it's very illegal, apparently. But he's a judge, and he's a freaking judge. He's a masculine Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge. He's a judge. He's supposed to uphold the law, not break the law. Just saying, just saying. Um, someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. That Those position of high authorities are the kind that makes me really, those are people that shouldn't be in position of authorities. And that's just the truth. Especially positions like judges. Um, if you're going to be a judge, act like a freaking judge. And that's just the truth. If you're going to be any occupation, wear your hat. And that's just the truth. But so many people don't. Trust me. I know. I'm a nurse. Been an RN since 2013. I've come across many selfish-ass nurses in it for the money. In and out. Period. 
poor uh, patients on death, dying bed by the end of the shift, and you take over the shift, and they haven't done half the crap they were supposed to do. And then you have to, well, you don't, well, you could turn around and make them do it. I've done that before, and it pisses them off. Or you can accept to do it, and I've done that too. But my point is, if you're going to wear the hat, whatever the hat it is, just wear it well. And that's just the truth. This is a, I heard years of utilizing prostitution services. But he's about to be investigated for something else. Something else. Whatever the hell it is, and however that resonates. But the, whoever is about to investigate him, maybe you are about to investigate him, Leo. I don't know. But somebody is about to investigate him. And um, it's going to be for something else. But they're about to find all this years of prostitution, utilizing prostitute services. He's a judge. What the hell? So he's going to come in with lots of desire, drive, and motivation. Well, I think this is the investigator about to come in with lots of desire, drive, and motiva motivation. Oh, my God. I heard it's not going to go well for him. I, I'm sure it's not. Lion? Very important information is about to come to you. Very important information. You're going to act very quickly. Very quickly. Very important information is about to come to you. Very important. You're about to act quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Whoever you are, some kind of very important information is about to come to you. You're about to act quickly. So you're going to take the lion, your fire sign energy there. Lots of desire, drive, and motivation. Act quickly. Um, I think you're going to have success there. And this very important information, whatever the hell it is, um, it could be um, maybe it's on a, a marriage. Maybe it's on a relationship. So parting of the ways in romance or business. Maybe your partner's cheating on you. Maybe um, you get a divorce. Maybe you uh, it's something to do with business or businesses or what have you, what have you. Possibly. But whatever information this is, I heard you're going to, um, you're going to act quickly. I think it's going to give you success. How that resonates in the clause. In your lion, fireside energy, how that resonates in the clause. Success. An Aquarius is about to try to come back into your life. You're not going to allow it. Personal. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So some kind of personal relationship with an Aquarius. Uh, whoever this is for and how this resonates. Um, now, you know, that could be platonic, it could be romantic, you could you could be married to this person, divorced from this person, this could be an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, a situationship, what have you, what have you, but some kind of personal relationship with Aquarius, I heard specifically, um, I heard they're going to try to come back, you're not going to allow it, so you're not going to allow the personal relationship, now for some, I feel you could work professionally with them, or business with them, possibly, possibly, but, because uh, I heard personal specifically, but um, you're not going to allow the personal relationship. I think you're going to have success in this. Um, maybe they hurt you. I think maybe they hurt you either physically or emotionally or mentally or financially. How that resonates with the healing.
Business is about to start booming. So many shares are about to start occurring. So many. Share after 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 share online business. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, that's beautiful. So one of you guys has an online business in some shape, form, or fashion. Whatever kind of online business this is and how that applies to you. But it's an online business. Um, there's about to be a lot of online share energy and there was a bunch of them. So a ton of shit, ton of shares, um, on some kind of social media platform or platforms that's going to help your business grow. I think, um, is what I'm feeling. It's about to help it grow in a huge way. And it, things are about to start happening very fast. It's about to help it start growing in a huge way. And, um, Things are about to start happening fast, so you're about to have success with your online business because it sounds like people like your work, or uh, I think they like your work, and obviously, if they're sharing your content, and um, it's about to help your business grow quickly. Uh, it's some kind of online business. Broken ring, parting of the ways in neither romantic or business. A significant Pisces is about to start having severe mental health issues. Severe. This person is not around your energetic space, but behind the scenes, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. For one, they're an RN. For one, they're an LPN. For one, they are a lawyer. For one, they're a grandfather. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Heavy Pisces energy. Um, they could have Pisces in any aspects of their charts. Um, whoever this Pisces is. Mask or in Pisces. Um, but I heard for some, they're LPNs, a licensed practical nurse. Some, they're a registered nurse like I am. Um, some, they are a uh, uh, lawyer. And for one, they're a grandfather. A grandfather. I heard they're about to start having severe mental health issues, um, but it's about to happen behind the scenes away from you, Leo. Um, so it's not going to happen in your energetic space. I think you are not around this person or you've blocked your energy from, well, block, you're either not around these person or people or you've blocked your energy from these person or people. But how that resonates, them about to start having severe mental health issues is about to help you behind the scenes in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, how that resonates and applies. Uh, for one, it's an LPN, for one, it's an RN, for one, it's a lawyer, for one, it's a grandfather. Uh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Let's see if I hear anything else. A Leo is about to get a divorce soon. They have stayed in it, stayed in it to try to make it work, but they're about to get a divorce. One year Leo masculine, one year Leo feminine. Well, congratulations, whoever you are. I'm a big believer in divorces. Big believer. I've been divorced for a very long time, since like 2014 when it was final, final. Like January 14 is when mine was final. I'm a big believer in divorces if they don't work. And that's just the damn truth. So whoever you are, you're about to get a divorce. One, you're a Leo masculine. One, you're a Leo femme. I heard you've stayed in it for a long time and you've been trying to make it work, but it's just not working. So the successful outcome here is to get the divorce. But I think you, it took you a while to figure that out. For some, you could have done marriage counseling like I did. For some, maybe not. But how that resonates you have come to the realization now that d divorce is really is the best route here. If this resonates and applies for you and um, you're about to, to file. Now, I don't know if you're, it's going to be contested or non-contested. I'm not sure, but congratulations to, um, that you woke up and you realize that your marriage isn't working and you're about to do it on your own. 
Um, I love the independent vibes, whoever you are. One, you're a man, one, you're a woman. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a low vibrational Leo masculine, older Leo masculine. You have a fire sign, feminine, X. She's about to ask you to sign over rights, one to one child, one to two, two plus children. You're a severe drug addict. One, you're an alcoholic. She's not messing around. Oh my God. Whoa. So for some of you got you okay, it's an older Leo masculine. So I feel in 35, 36 or above. Um, you you have a fire sign femme ex-partner. Um, so um that could be an, an ex-wife, a ex-baby mama, a girlfriend, what have you, what have you. Um whatever she was to you. But she's about to ask you to sign over rights. For some of you guys, it's regarding one child. For some, it's regarding two or two plus children. But I heard it's um, you're a severe drug addict. For some of you guys, for some of you, you're a severe alcoholic. That's why she's about to ask you to sign over rights. Because um, I'm I'm presuming because she knows you're a drug addict or alcoholic and she'd take your ass to the court of law and prove you're a drug addict or alcoholic. Or maybe she'll get CPS to call on you and um, get you to take a drug screen or alcohol screen and she'll have you that way. I mean, there's ways to do it, and that's just the damn truth. Um, but I think she's gonna, I heard she's gonna ask you to sign over the rights. So I'm assuming if you don't sign over the rights, she'll probably see, call CPS on your ass to get them to administer an alcohol or drug screening on you. But whoever you are, you're an older Leo masculine. You can have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Um, she will take action if you refuse to sign it. Know this. She will, she will, um, she will take action if you refuse to sign it, is what I just heard, Leo masculine, older Leo masculine. She will take action if you refuse to sign. So, whatever action she's going to take, if it was me, I would have called, if I, if it was me, and I knew my ex was a drug user or alcoholic, I'd be calling CPS and telling them they're a drug user or alcoholic, so they can administer a drug screen or alcohol screening, and boom, there's evidence right there. Boom, I'm going to the courthouse. But you plug it in how it resonates. She wants your rights. She 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 wants you to sign over your rights, whoever you are. She's a fire sign femme. She got Aries, Leo, Sag, and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, she obviously wants to part ways legally with you. Uh, for some, I feel you might not might not be paying child support, possibly. But I don't know how that works. I I don't know. Uh, maybe for some, if you get your rights, I don't know if you have to pay child support if you have your rights if you sign your rights over. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you plug it in how it resonates. Healing. For one, you're a fire sign feminine, 40 and above. Your ex is about to do this to you. Ask you to sign over rights. For one, you're a fire sign fem, 40 and above. Your ex is about to do this to you. Sign over rights. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Leo. Uh, some, you're a uh, 40 and above. Leo feminine about to get your ass to get your right signed over. For one, you're an older Leo masculine. I'm feeling 35, 36, about to get your ass asked to get your right signed over. And it's parental rights, if that resonates. Healing. A Virgo is very, very, very pissed at a Leo Femme, but she does not care. A Virgo is very, very, very pissed at a Leo Femme. She does not care. That's what I just heard. So whoever you are, Virgo, you can have Virgo in any aspects of your charts, but um, I heard you're very pissed at a Leo Femme, but the Leo Femme doesn't care. Whoever you are, Virgo, you, I think you might watch this video, um, possibly. Um, for one, you're an ex of this person. For one, you're a family member. But you betrayed this person in a huge way. Okay, so for one, you Virgos, you're an, and for one, you're an ex coworker. For one, you're an ex of this Leo Fem. For one, you're an ex coworker, and for one, you are a uh, uh, family member. But I heard you betrayed this uh, Leo Fem in a huge way. So, um, so you're pissed at her. Well, hell, um, you betrayed her, Virgo. Whether you're the ex coworker, the ex. Or the family member. Hell, what do you expect? You can't expect loyalty if you don't give loyalty. If anybody needs to hear that. You cannot expect loyalty if you do not give loyalty. 
If anybody needs to hear that, Virgo, healing, A significant hospital visit soon. For one, you're about to be hospitalized. A significant hospital visit soon. For one of you guys, um, you're going to visit somebody in the hospital. And for one, you're about to be hospitalized. So healing in this aspect is hospitalization. Whether you're about to be hospitalized or you're about to visit somebody in a hospital, how that resonates and applies, uh, for, um, Leo. Uh, how that resonates and applies, okay? Healing. And for one, you're about to search sexual healing through a dating site. You're very polyamorous, but it's about to backfire on you in a huge way. And for one, you're about to search um, sexual healing through a dating site, but I heard it's about to backfire in a huge way. Hope you don't get no crazy stalker, um, obsessor, lurker. That, I mean, I heard you're polyamorous, so you like many people in your dating style. I'm not polyamorous. I'm not. Uh, I don't judge people that are polyamorous. I'm very monogamous. But you are polyamorous, whoever you are. You like many people up in your dating or married life, how that resonates, uh, Leo. Um, and basically, um, you're about to search some kind of sexual healing. Um, in this aspect, it's sexual healing through a dating site. But I heard it's going to backfire on you. I think you're about to get some crazy wacko and you're about to part the ways with them. Or, or I mean, I'm serious. Um, that's, that's yikes, whoever that's for. All right, I'm done. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and I'll stay.